My name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Essen 2013. I'm sitting down with Philippe Nura yes. of Fun Forge Games. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. I know. Thank you, Beth. Yeah. This is our, our second game sitting yeah. here together. Now, uh, you guys had the wildly successful Takedo yeah. come out last, last Essen, yes? Last Essen, yes. And so now we have the expansion, which is Takedo Crossroads. Absolutely. Now we're going to assume that everyone knows how to play Takedo already. So if you don't, you know what website to go to. <laughs> so what does this add to the game? It adds a lot. In fact, we had a lot of comments. Uh, with, we thought about these comments from gamers. Uh, we said, I'd like to like the game. But I like the visuals, I like the feelings, the spirit mm -hmm. of the game. But it's a bit light for me. It's a, it's a very accessible family game, and we meant the game to be this, but we wanted also to bring something more for the gamers. It, it's not a, strat a deep strategy game, mm -hmm. okay, we agree on this, but we wanted to add some more elements to the game that add depth to the game. So there are two main ideas in the in the Tokedo Crossword expansion. The first one is to add a choice at each station. Previously, when you stopped at the station and at the Tokedo uh, uh, board, you had only one thing to do. Right. Okay? Give money to the temple, uh, buy souvenirs, and so on. Or now take you the bath card, right. As, as you see, there is a, uh, this small board that you will place aside of the main board, and there are new sets of cards that you will have choice to pick this card or the previous one. For mm -hmm. instance, when you stop at a village, you can buy the regular souvenirs or you can try to buy um, uh, legendary objects. And the difference is that you will choose them in the expansion. You will pick all of the, uh, the deck of cards and you will choose which one you want to get mm -hmm. to add to your collection. And they bring new uh, abilities to the collection in, a, in some way. For instance, this one, will add a fifth family to, the, to your souvenirs. This one will give you uh, one more point for each souvenir that you already have, and, and so on. So it's an option. We wanted to add options to each of the stations. And the, the second main idea is to have secret cards. In the base game, all of the cards are visible to right. players. Everything is face up. Now there are two kinds of cards that are quite different. When you stop at the temple, you have the opportunity to buy a lucky charm instead of giving money to the temple. And you will choose this lucky charm and it's, it's a kind of Texat card, which is not really mean, but which allows you to do things that you, uh, that you cannot do uh, in the regular way. For instance, um, this one, this lucky charm, will allow you to give the temple the coins spent on acquiring any kind of purchasable card. So instead of giving the money to the bank, you will add this to the temple, to your temple donations. Which and, and could really throw off somebody's ability to win yes, the temples. Yes, exactly. And there, is, there are lots of them that you can play during the, the game. The second type of cards like this are the uh, calligraphies that you will get uh, instead of meeting someone you will get this card and there are some kind of secret objectives to achieve during the game. So for instance, this one uh, will give you three points for each uneaten meal. If you miss a meal, you will, you will get points for this. Some others will get points for the remaining points at the end of the game and so on. <laughs> and there is also this little die, which is the fortune die. Now when you stop at a farm, instead of picking the three coins that you were picking uh, previously, you will, try to, you will try your luck by uh, a gambling, in fact. So <laughs> it's a kind of Yakuza die, you know. You will bet a certain amount of money from one to three coins, then you roll the die and you see the ah, result. And you so get if I had bet two or I would get six You get six, get six, six back. And you can also lose everything. It's, uh, it's just, uh, the, the, <laughs> just try, to try your chance. And there are six new characters uh, in the game with new uh, abilities, some of them being uh, linked to the fact that there are two options now in the game. So by giving more options to each station, by bringing secret cards and secret objectives which uh, 
confuse a bit the readability of the, the games of the other players, we think that we, we bring more strategy to the game. It's, it's no more just tactic, but also strategy. Strategy in the war uh, uh, game that each player will, the, the objective that they will try to achieve uh, and so on. So. Now this, this feels like this wouldn't add a lot of time to the game. No, though. no, it, it, it doesn't uh, add a lot of time to the game. It just changed the way the player will play the game. It's, it's really the same game. It's not longer, it's not shorter, it's just different. Different, different yeah. decisions, yeah. right. Yeah. Different decisions, different consequences uh, about the decisions. The choices to go to a station is now um, less automatic than before. Uh, because of these options, you will have really new, uh, uh, new decisions to take in the way you will move your character on, on the world. And, and I think that it was the thing that was missing for the gamers' uh, audience in, uh, in this game. Now, uh, you guys are selling this at your booth right across yes. the way. Uh, when will this make it over to the United States? Uh, hopefully, thanks to our US partner, who is Passport Game Studio, uh, this will be in stores hopefully before Christmas. Excellent, we always like, cause wouldn't that just make a nice stocking stuffer for a board gamer? I mean, come on. <laughs> well, Philippe, thank you so much thank you, for Brett. coming by and showing us the expansion to Kaido, which is to Kaido Crossroads.